Hi, this is Muhammad Jallo from JumlaSultan.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Joomla on your website from your hosting accounts control panel. Now, of course, there are a number of ways you can do this. You can install Joomla, but I'm going to show you the simplest way here. So, first thing you have to do is log into your hosting accounts control panel. Now, once you're there, just uh, look around for a smiley, a blue smiley uh, that says Fantastical. Uh, here we have it. So click on Fantastical. Now this is the uh, Fantastical installation area. This is where you can install a bunch of scripts in your website. You can install blogs, uh, classifieds, uh, content management systems, and of course it depends on uh, who your hosting provider is. Okay. So today we're going to install uh, Joomla. Now there are two versions of Joomla here. You have Joomla. This is uh, the uh, an older version of Joomla. It's Joomla 1.0. Now, unless you have a very good reason for installing that, I would advise you to do that. You better go with Joomla 1.5. This is the latest version of Joomla, and uh, most of the extensions, the add-ons that have been created nowadays, are compatible with this version of Joomla. So, for security purposes, and also, you know, for the sake of, you know, being able to get the right extensions to use with your website you should go with Joomla 1.5 so let's click on Joomla 1.5 so this is the Joomla installation area as you can see this is Joomla 1.5 now for the for now as you can see here uh, new installation this is the newest version of Joomla Joomla 1.5.7 now to install this package on your website you will need at least 24.54 megabytes of free disk space on your hosting account. Now, of course, most hosting providers provide uh, much more than this, uh, but you should have at least this much on your hosting account to be able to go through with this installation uh, smoothly. So, if uh, you go with that, just click on New Installation here. Now, you have a couple of options here when installing Joomla. When well, you can install Joomla on the default domain and the main domain on your hosting account uh, which in this case is joomlasultan.com now sometimes you might have other uh, domains hosted on the same account also and maybe you want to insert Joomla on those other domains and you could do this you just have to click on this arrow here and select the domain that you want to insert Joomla on now another option is to insert Joomla on an already created subdomain now if uh, through your control panel you've already created a new subdomain uh, if you click on this arrow it should be available so you could just select that subdomain and insert Joomla on it in that case you just leave this blank okay when installing Joomla on the main, direct, the main domain or a subdomain now the third option is to install Joomla on a new directory okay a new subdomain of your website now we're gonna do that we're gonna do that here so let's say uh, a new directory is going to be Joom, Joom directory okay so you put that here now fantastic is going to automatically create this uh, during the installation process so it shouldn't have existed yet now here you choose a username uh, I'm just going to put admin and then choose a password uh, I'm going to choose password but choose don't use that choose something uh, that is secure Okay, so next we have to choose an email. Uh, let me just call this email address at jimlasultan.com. Now, of course, this doesn't exist, but I'm just going to use that. You should use an email address that you check very often uh, because, uh, in case you have a problem with logging to the admin area of the Joomla website, you can retrieve your password uh, through the front end area using your email account so you should use an email account that check quite often now here you could put in your full name if you want to this is optional if you don't want you could leave it empty now the site name here you could put the website name or a keyword that you're trying to target okay uh, which is the focus of your website now in this case I'm gonna let's assume we, we, we're designing uh, a recipes direct a recipes website 
so I'm gonna put how to cook as the uh, name of the website okay now this is now on here you could choose to install the sample data this is advisable because uh, you'll be able to learn how Joomla functions how content is managed so do that okay click on install Joomla now this is the second part of the installation process Joomla uh, our hosting accounts uh, has already created a MySQL user and a database and a password for this and has already linked them together and it's telling you here that your new Joomla website will be created and installed on joomlasultan.com slash joom directory so if all is good just click on finish installation now as you can see here it has already been created okay and it tells you here this is your this is your username this is your password and this is the admin login area it's joomlasultan.com slash gym directory slash administrator okay so if you want a copy of the installation details uh, you could just put in your email address here and click send and you get a copy of that but in this case we don't need that okay so that's all it takes to install Joomla on your website now if you go let's see how our website looks now as you can see here uh, this is a new uh, area of our website the subdirectory that we just installed Joomla on Joom directory this is how our website looks this is a pre-installed data that you have okay this is all the content that come uh, with the installation package okay now if you want to log into the admin area you just go to gymlessultan.com slash gym directory and slash admin administrator this is admin area you can log in using the login that you created and the password and there we have it okay so that's how to install Joomla usually this takes you about a uh, few minutes maybe one or two minutes and it's already on uh, installed on your website okay so I'm gonna be creating more Joomla video tutorials and uh, posting them on joomlasultan.com uh, please check often and also let me know what you think of uh, this tutorial and other ones that I'll be creating thank you very much and have a great day bye